Howdy there. It's Action Bible Time, yo. Everybody's favorite. So we're on page 528. The captives return based on Ezra 1 through 3, Isaiah 45. These are the words of King Cyrus, the God of Israel, commands that a house be built for him in Jerusalem. Any of his people who want to do so may return. Even after many years living in exile in Babylon and Persia, the Jews still dream of returning to their homeland, Judah. The different Persian kings have mostly treated the Jews well. When King Cyrus takes the throne, one of his first acts is to issue a decree. The Jews rejoice that the king is allowing them to return to the land God promised them. I am too old to make the journey, but here, take these gold plates that my family has passed down for generations, and here is some money and extra food. Gifts of money, horses, mules, camels, gold, and silver, food and clothing pour in. At last, the day comes when the great caravan is ready to leave. Thank God I'll see my homeland. On the long road home, the Jews follow the same route that Abraham, the father of the Jewish nation, traveled 1,500 years before when he obeyed God's command to leave Ur and make a new nation in Palestine. When we left Jerusalem, it was in flames. I wonder what it looks like now. No matter how much they prepare themselves for the ruined city, they are brokenhearted when they walk through the rubble of Jerusalem. Solomon's beautiful temple stood over there. With the Lord's help, it will be rebuilt. Our family built this home with their own hands. Look at it now. It's a home for wild dogs. Maybe we should not have come back, maybe. Our forefathers built much of this city. We'll rebuild it. Jerusalem will rise again. You'll see. Although the city of Jerusalem is in ruins, the Jews who have returned from captivity in Babylon set to work to rebuild it. Joshua and Je Zerubbabel start by building, rebuilding the altar on its old spot in front of the temple. In the, Jewish, in the midst of the ruins, the Jewish people celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles for the first time in many years. It is good to finally burn offerings to the Lord in Jerusalem, even though the temple is not rebuilt yet. Next, they see about rebuilding the temple. They appoint Levites to supervise the construction. They send to sit on for the best cedar logs, just like Solomon used when he built the temple originally. When the foundation of the temple is in place, the high priest leads the people in service of worship and rejoicing. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love lasts forever. The noise from their celebration is so great that it can be heard from miles away. All right. So, <clears throat> it's always a good time to celebrate the goodness of the Lord Jesus. Because he is so good. He's so merciful. He's so kind. And he's so loving. And the best part about him is he wants to be your best friend wants to be your savior because praising anything else would just bring you shame. Okay. So God bless you and your family. Praise the one true living God. His name is Jesus Christ.